called special operation in Ukraine, as the Russian media call it, was a light wave of the hand of Kremlin's chief propagandist Olga Skabeva, within 50 days has turned into World War III. Moreover, Russia is fighting more than just someone. In what this has turned out to be, it is absolutely possible to call without any artifice World War Three. We are directly fighting, if not with NATO itself, then certainly with the infrastructure of NATO. And this is how the consequences of these particular fights between the Russian army and, as they say, the NATO infrastructure look like. In fact, it is schools, kindergartens and ordinary residential multi-story buildings and innocent civilians. And according to Skabeyeva's version, there is only one circumstance that for already 50 days has prevented the so-called Second Army of the World from capturing Ukraine as they announced in three hours. But the propagandist already has an idea how to cope with this challenge. Military aircrafts packed to the girls with weapons fly at a rate of 8 to 10 planes per day. They deliver weapons by railway round the clock. They deliver weapons by land round the clock. They deliver weapons from Poland. It's certainly not a joke that we should think very seriously about destroying railway hubs. There are some questions, of course. They keep coming and coming, I mean the top officials, but they should be warmed, better stay at home. But European officials are not going to sit at home. The leaders of many countries are coming to see the destruction and death of civilians brought to Ukraine by the so-called Russian world. Last week British Prime Minister Boris Johnson walked with the Ukrainian president on Khrushchev. This week, the president of Poland, Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia visited Borodanka, which was destroyed by the occupiers. Afterwards, they announced new arms supplies to Ukraine and what the Kremlin fears most, refusing the Russian gas. We must stop financing Putin's war. For many years, we have had the only source of gas supply. It was Russia. We have cut this energy cord and we hope that all of Europe can do it. It is only a question of political will. Skabeva immediately labeled them the main Russophobes of the European Union. In fact, not even the European Union. Russia accuses almost the entire world of Russophobia. The West countries to pursue a radically Russophobic course, it is waging a total hybrid war. But the real war against Russia is being waged by Russia itself. The first victims are residents of the Bryansk and Belgorod regions bordering Ukraine. First they are shelled and then the Ukrainian armed forces are blamed for all this. They do everything to threaten Ukraine in good conscience with new attacks. If they hit Russian territory again, then we will hit Kyiv. The Russian army began to carry out its threats immediately. There was noisy again last night in Kyiv, and the air raid sirens were heard all over the country. The Moskva cruiser played a major role in this. After it was hit by the Neptune cruise missile, not just the flagship of the Black Sea fleet went down, but also $750 million. Reported by Roman Smoller, Tatiana Kravets, UATV.